Hi guys, I'm planning on making another pop pop boat. Haven't made one for several years, but I found I'd got this little tin lip balm, which is empty, and it's magnetic or um, steel or iron ferrous, I think is the word we're looking for. So I've just rubbed some of the paint off and I'm going to see if it actually takes solder because if it takes solder okay I'll rub the rest of the paint off round the edge there and round here and I'll solder the top to the bottom drill a couple of holes in it put some pipes in it and then this will be our boiler and the pipes will take the steam out to the back of the boat or out to the water where it then condenses and gets sucked back in again. So the first thing is just see if this will take solder. If it doesn't, then I'm wasting my time and we'll have to find a different tin. Now this is some very old flux for plumbing soldering that I've had for an awfully long time. In fact, it used to be my father's before me. So I'll just put a little bit on there. Unfortunately, my plumbing solder is up in the loft somewhere where I had to do some plumbing. So we'll just try ordinary electrical solder here. And we probably need my bigger soldering iron than this one. Because this will take the heat away very quickly. But we just want to see if it actually takes solder. And that looks to me like it has. If it goes into little bubbles and runs off, then you know it's not taking it. But that appears to be fine. So, I'll switch that off again for now. And I'll spend some time rubbing the paint off so we've got a clean surface to solder that together. We also need to punch some holes in it or drill some holes in it for the pipes to come through. Probably a better idea to do that before you actually solder the top on because when you're trying to solder a top onto the, a tin like that the air inside is going to keep expanding and probably um, cause air leaks. So we'll make the holes first. For the pipes, I've got some brass tubing from B&Q. Most of the label's missing, so I can't tell you what it is. I think it's six millimeter. That looks like about six millimeter brass tubing. I'd rather have had copper because it bends easier. I've made up a wooden um, former here. It's just some scrap wood that I've cut a semicircle on the end. I've bashed that nail in there so that's a tight fit on the pipe. And we could try cold bending it. Or we could heat up the brass pipe and it should bend easier. What we don't want it to do is flatten. So I'll give it a try. I'll heat this up and see if we can bend it round in a semicircle. Because that's the end that's going to go into the boiler. Then the other end comes round and goes underneath the boat in the design that I'm doing. So in the boiler up there, round, under the boat, pointing backwards there. Now it's an awfully long time since I've done this. I really ought to go and look it up first as to how much I need to heat this up to get it to bend properly. But I don't, well, I don't know. I could just go for it, couldn't I? Heat it up, see if we can bend it. If I get it all wrong we can go and look it up. I can't remember whether we're supposed to heat this up so it's cherry red hot, dull red hot 
or just changes to a dull colour anyway. So I would advise you, rather than copy exactly what I'm doing, look it up. You need to get a fair bit of this heated up as well. Although I suppose I could do it in a couple of a couple of goes at it. Obviously this will get hot. Oh that's that's cherry red already. And it's going to burn that wood, so I'll put the fan on to extract some of the smoke. Started all right. You won't be able to actually see the colour in the camera, but the metal is actually glowing a dull red. Go. That's what I want. And that will be hot, so don't go getting hold of it. I need to cut that off to the length I want and then do another one because we need two like that. So that's the first one. Let's do this one the same. and cool that one down and that will be our two tubes. Just remember that is probably burning so it would be a good idea to cool that one down as well. 
I've carefully cleaned all the paint off around where we're actually going to solder the top to the bottom. What I'm now looking at is where I want to put the pipes. Because I think I want to put the pipes in at the top. So I'm going to have to poke some holes in. So we can go in something like that. Be easier to poke the holes just below the join and have them angled up slightly. I might have to open this out gently so we can have it pointing up at an angle and still have room underneath for the tea light and the bottom of the boat. So, so I might have to just gently open that up a little bit so it goes up like that. That's basically what I'm aiming for. So we'll have to see if I can get it soldered up together. Right, I'll just say again, I wouldn't normally use my electrical solder for doing this sort of work. But I don't know what I've where I've hidden the proper stuff. So let's have a look. Where are we going? I've got this sort of wedged in position where I want it to be. Once we've got some solder on there, I should be able to work a bit easier. Still might have to change soldering irons. It's managing the tin plate all right, but it's not touching the brass. I think I'm going to have to go and change. I'll try a little bit more. I've put my plumbing flux all round all the joins, which is what that extra smoke is. beginning to get hot on my finger. That's interesting that it's the, the brass that's taking the heat quicker than the um, tin plate. When I say taking the heat, um, absorbing the heat, taking it away. The tin plate itself It's working quite nicely.
Yeah, I think I'll go and have a look for my other soldering iron because this is probably going to leak if we don't get it hot enough. Well, that's annoying. I can't find my soldering iron. I have a nasty feeling it might be up in the loft. So I'll try a bit more. doesn't get any better then I'll have to stop and go and have a look. So this part seems to be doing alright, it's where the brass tube is that is struggling. This one is a 30 watt, I think the other one's 60 watt. That certainly seems to have done all right going around there. Just have to get plenty of heat on these pipes, tubes. Yeah, that looks awful. Right, no good, I'll have to get a decent soldering iron. Eighty watt soldering iron.
that's a bit more like it. I think I used to use 120 watt for when I was soldering model aeroplane fuel tanks. It's a much bigger beast than this. I want to move it and have a look. Looks like we've got a good seal. So that's our pop pop motor. Obviously when we put a flame under here it's going to burn the paint. I'm not too worried about that. Haven't left a lot of room for a tea light underneath. No, we'll find out. Might have to use something other than a tea light. For a quick test, I think what I'll do is I'll use this aluminium tray that our dinner came in the other day. So I'll just poke a couple of holes in it so we can push the tubes through. Probably just duct tape them on the bottom or something just to hold them in place. Um, maybe put some super glue around it where the pipes go through the aluminium because we can't solder on aluminium so just a bit of super glue I think just to get it all in position then we can stick a tea light under there and just see if it actually works so hot glued in place just see if it works First thing we need to do is fill it with water. So you pour it down one tube. And when it comes out the other one, you know you filled it. There we go, coming out the other one. Oh, actually, thinking about that, that may not have filled it because the pipes are at that end. Another way of doing it is using a syringe to force it in. Well, we'll see how we go. As long as there's some in there, it should be enough to boil. That 
It's going to take quite a while to heat up enough to boil the water. What you want to do is watch the ends of the pipes to see any bubbles or anything coming out. My experience has been 10 minutes or more you can be waiting, so we might fast forward the video. Finally, we got some motion. Bring it back here. <laughs> I had to take most of the water out. I think the boiler is too big. And it was holding too much water so it couldn't heat it up properly. So I've emptied most of the water out. And away we go. I have to put some water in the bath, I think. Alright, we're in the bath now. Stuff on the wall. That's moving along at quite a rate. I suspect if it was proper boat shape, it would actually go round the edges of the bath. As it is, it's getting jammed. It's not a very loud pop pop, is it? Just 
Should put a rudder on it, shouldn't I? Still, that was really just to test the motor, putting it in that aluminium tray. So, quick summary, I had to tip most of the water out of it that I put in there and I had to increase the tea light to four wicks to give it enough heat underneath to warm it up. Considering the shape of it, that's going pretty fast. So we'll have to do another one sometime with a proper uh, boat shaped hull so it can push itself forwards properly. Maybe even put a rudder on it. Well, battery just went when I was doing my final summary, so I'll just do it again. So we've got a lip balm container that I've soldered shut, a couple of brass tubes that I curved, so they go in the front, round and stick out the back. Uh, we're using a tea light that's got four wicks in it to give us extra heat. And I also had to tip most of the water out that I'd put in there because it just couldn't heat up the volume of water to get the right effect. And there's a bit of weight in the back of this aluminium tray just to make sure the pipes stay in the water because they need to be in the water for it to work. And it works. And it's almost silent. Clearly the metal um, little container there hasn't got much flex in it, so we're not getting the classic pop, pop, pop noise. But if we listen quietly, we can hear it. And it moves. 
moves at quite a rate. I just can't understand how it can move so fast when it's such a awkward shape for the water. I don't even know if the camera will pick up the noise it makes. And I did just use hot glue to seal the pipe holes there. And it's not leaking and it's not melting. It seems to be going around in a circle at the moment, which is alright, that makes the filming a bit easier. When it's that quiet, you really can't believe it's working. Check the video description to try and understand how it works. We'll just mention Daryl Foster. There will be links in my video description to my playlist of pop pop boats, but there'll be quite a few of his boats in there. And I'll put a link to his site. He's recently just stopped doing them. He's decided he's too old to keep on. But he's done loads of pop pop boats. And they're beautiful. It's got some that are really noisy, because that's one of the things that people like about pop pop boats, ones that are really noisy. And he's just got some very interesting looking ones too. So check out Daryl Foster's channel. I don't think any of his are quiet like this one. You can see it shuddering a bit there, so you can actually see the way it pushes and, well, I say pushes and pulls, it doesn't actually pull, but it's juddering. So 
but as you can see it is actually working. If we pull it back we should be able to see it start going forwards under its own power. There we go. So it's not me pushing it along or blowing or anything like that. It's under its own power, under its own steam. This is terrible. I could sit here all night watching this, playing with it. I'm going to have to do two videos, I think. A short one for my main channel, and a gratuitously long one for my other channel. going faster. How much fun can you have with a tea light?
Mm. That sounds to me like it's just finished off all the water that's in there. That'll do. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.